everybody. Welcome to back to this week's episode of the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm joined by Ben Mankiewicz from Turner Classic Movies and everything else. Hi, Ben. How are you? Jimmy, what's going on? Good to see you. And uh, right now, uh, I, w- I want to play this clip from the debate. I know it's been a, a week already, a whole week since the debate. But uh, I wanted to play this clip because I thought it was really poignant. Barack Obama was talking about his foreign policy successes, and he had a little meeting with a girl at Ground Zero. You know, after we killed bin Laden, I was at Ground Zero for a memorial and talked to a, a, a young woman who was four years old when uh, 9-11 happened. And the last conversation she had with her father was him calling from the Twin Towers, saying, Peyton, I love you and I will always watch it over you. And for the next decade, she was haunted by that conversation. And she said to me, you know, by finally getting bin Laden, uh, that brought some closure to me. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a nice little, that is a heartwarming story about the healing powers of murder. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It is, and yeah. The president, look, I went out and I murdered this guy for you, a little, a little baby. Are you happy? Thank you. Thank you, President. Murder gets such a bad rap. It gets a bad name. Yeah, it, totally. But look how it helped this little girl's heart heal. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like the word liberal. It's been corrupted over the years. I say we take murder back <laughs> take murder from back. the murderers. Does, do we think that those personal stories test well? Because I, I, I can already tell, like you, I always just think, shut up, 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 shut up. You know, I was talking with a firefighter, Joe Baxter. And I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I'm sure that there, you have plenty of heartwarming moments, but when you relay them, they sound so phony. Now you watched the debate, and do you, and do you remember uh, him saying that, or do you? Did it, did I do. I remember it then because it made me uncomfortable right at that moment. I, that is, and nobody has a problem with that. The, that. That's the smartest guy in the room doesn't see a problem with that. Yeah. That's weird. He must, right? And he still says it anyway because he knows most people won't see a problem with it. Most people are cool. I mean, that is really, that's the... He got no debate bump, so there may be, maybe most people do have a problem with it. I don't think there's not great science here. These guys aren't all geniuses I about know. everything. Well, that's, uh, you know, Barack Obama's been trying to convince everyone that he's a Christian and... Uh, that's, he really seems to believe in Christian revenge, right? That one of the, one of the tenets of Christianity. Let's get him back, if right? If a little girl wants you to kill somebody, you, you do get it. You get him, eye for an eye. <laughs>